Hi, my name is Glenn Zandralmi, and this is Facebook Application Development Step 1, Deciding Between Facebook Markup Language or iFrames. First, I'd like to start with some tools that will guide you in your Facebook application development. The first one is the Facebook Developers Wiki, and this talks about the API, Facebook Markup Language, and Facebook Query Language. It also keeps up with current events. And, it's, of course, it's editable by the user, and it keeps it's updated pretty often. Second is the Facebook Developers Tools. This is where you can actually put in Facebook code, such as uh, queries and Facebook markup language, and preview the results, which is actually nifty. Uh, you can do all this before you actually code your application to make sure that everything's going to work out. Third is the Facebook developers documentation and this is the official documentation um, and it offers you know pretty much the same things that the wiki offers uh, just a little different. So first I'm going to start talking about iframes and what iframes actually are. Iframes are embedded websites within another site I guess you could say. Think of it as a Photoshop layer. If you've ever used Adobe Photoshop, then you would know what I'm talking about. But uh, it's basically a page on top of a page. Very simple. I'm calling the iframe here in my HTML. I'm pointing it to a source, neverendingweb.com. And I'm saying the width and height is 800 by 600. And it creates this frame for me with my website inside of it. And I can scroll through my website up and down. Facebook markup language does not use iframes, but it's a way for you to pass HTML in the Facebook markup language manner and manipulate the Facebook interface to have it do what you need it to do. Um, iframes advantages are that it allows you to use all kinds of JavaScript that you want. It allows you to store session cookies and all that good stuff and you can make up any kind of layout you want for your Facebook application. Um, this is specifically useful if you're making a feature rich application and you need forms and you need other things that Facebook's interface does not offer. Facebook markup language on the other hand's advantages are that it's a little faster, it keeps your application native to the Facebook uh, current interface, and this doesn't really confuse your your users very much, which is really good because the users are already know how to navigate Facebook. And if your application looks like a Facebook application, then they're more inclined to install it. Uh, this doesn't mean that you should avoid iframes, but you kind of have to weigh out your application and decide which one is best for you. First, I'd like to start off with an example of a uh, Facebook iframe. This is the Texas Hold'em application leaderboard and as you can see this is list this is a list of the top leaders but this is not an interface that is native to the Facebook interface. This is an interface created by the developer of this application. Second I want to show you an interface that uses Facebook as its native interface and if I go to my profile you will see the application why are you so awesome now this is passing Facebook markup language into the profile box and telling it to show my name is awesome because and my reason and this keeps your application native to Facebook if you actually go to my applications and you view this applications page and this is the main index page then you see that this is also Facebook markup language. And this is, these things right here are also done with Facebook markup language. Uh, you could also make this page a complete iframe and it can be something completely different than what you see on the screen right now. Your imagination is as far as it goes. So, um, to recap what we had just talked about, uh, if you have an application that requires lots of JavaScript, need, you need the cookies, uh, you, you want to create your own user interface for it, and uh, it's, it's an application that's going to be bigger than 
something that just requires the Facebook interface, and I would go with an iframe. If you think your application is small enough and only requires the Facebook interface, then I would go with using Facebook markup language. If you have an existing website that already has HTML structured out and all that stuff, then go ahead and use an iframe because you don't want to recreate all that stuff in FBML. Uh, that concludes our segment on the Facebook application development step one. Thank you.